Welcome to this important discussion on PTSD in military veterans. We delve into the world of post-traumatic stress disorder, a condition that has touched the lives of countless brave men and women who've served their country. We'll be exploring its impact, from the daunting battlefield to the silent battles fought long after the guns have quieted. It's a journey of understanding, compassion, and hope. Stick around, because this is a conversation that needs to be had. PTSD is a serious condition that affects many of our brave veterans. So, what exactly is PTSD? PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental health condition that some people develop after experiencing or witnessing a life-threatening event, like combat, a natural disaster, a car accident, or sexual assault. It's normal to have upsetting memories, feel on edge, or have trouble sleeping after a traumatic event. But if these reactions don't go away over time or they get worse, you may have PTSD. Now when it comes to PTSD, we need to understand that it's not just about one single event. It's about an ongoing chronic sense of fear and anxiety that can be triggered by reminders of the traumatic event. These triggers can be anything that the person associates with the trauma. And here's the thing. PTSD affects each person differently. There's no single response to trauma. For some, the symptoms might appear immediately after the traumatic event. For others, symptoms may not appear until months or even years later. And for some, symptoms may come and go over time. People with PTSD can feel a wide range of emotions. They might feel intense fear or helplessness. They might feel numb or detached from their surroundings. They might have trouble sleeping or they might have nightmares. They might feel irritable or have outbursts of anger. The list goes on. The point is, PTSD is not a one-size-fits-all condition. It's a complex disorder that can take many forms, and it's essential to understand its complexities. Why? Because understanding PTSD can help us to recognize it in ourselves and others. It can help us to be more compassionate and supportive, and it can help us to seek the help we need. So let's remember, PTSD is not a sign of weakness. It's a response to trauma. It's a part of the human experience, and it's something that can be managed with understanding, care, and the right support. PTSD is not a one-size-fits-all condition, and it's essential to understand its complexities. Recognizing the symptoms is the first step towards managing PTSD. When we talk about symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, they often fall into four main categories. Intrusion, avoidance, negative alterations in mood and cognition, and alterations in arousal and reactivity. Intrusion involves recurrent, involuntary, and intrusive distressing memories or dreams related to the traumatic event. You may also experience flashbacks where it feels as though the event is happening again. Avoidance means steering clear of reminders of the trauma. This could be anything from places and people that are related to the event, to thoughts and feelings that bring back memories of the trauma. Negative alterations in mood and cognition could manifest as persistent negative emotional states, feelings of detachment or estrangement from others, or a distorted sense of blame of self or others. Alterations in arousal and reactivity often include irritability, reckless or self-destructive behavior, hypervigilance, or problems with concentration and sleep. One of our brave veterans shared their experience saying, I didn't recognize the signs at first but learning about PTSD symptoms helped me understand what I was going through. Each person's experience with PTSD is unique and symptoms can vary in intensity over time. But recognizing these symptoms in oneself or in others can be the first step towards healing. Knowledge of these symptoms can be a powerful tool in recognizing and addressing PTSD. Managing and treating PTSD involves professional help and self-care. This might sound like a tall order, but it's a journey worth embarking on, and one that is not undertaken alone. Therapists and doctors are essential guides on the path to healing, helping to navigate the rough terrain that PTSD presents. The use of various therapeutic approaches, like cognitive processing therapy or eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, can help process traumatic memories and reduce their impact on daily life. Medication, too, can play a significant role in managing symptoms. Antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs or medications to help with sleep can be effective tools when used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. Remember it's not about a quick fix but about finding a treatment plan that works best for you. Aside from professional help, there are self-care strategies that can make a world of difference. Mindfulness practices, for instance, can help ground you in the present moment, providing a reprieve from distressing flashbacks. Regular exercise is another powerful technique. It's not just about physical health but mental well-being too. 
You'd be surprised how much a brisk walk or a few minutes of yoga can help in managing stress and anxiety. But let's not forget the importance of social support. Connecting with others who understand your experiences can be immensely comforting. It could be a support group, an online community, or even just one person who gets it. Remember, you're not alone in this. There are others walking similar paths, and they can provide a sense of camaraderie and understanding that's hard to find elsewhere. And finally, let's dispel a common myth. Seeking help is not a sign of weakness. Quite the contrary, it's a testament to your strength and resilience. It's about taking control, stepping forward, and choosing to seek a brighter tomorrow. Remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards healing. There are numerous resources available for veterans dealing with PTSD. The first point of contact might be the Veterans Affairs, or VA services. They offer a range of support, from counseling and therapy to medication and other treatment options. The VA is a valuable resource for understanding PTSD and finding the right course of treatment. In addition to the VA, there are numerous support groups that can provide a sense of community and understanding. These groups can be a lifeline, connecting veterans with others who have walked in their shoes and understand the unique challenges they face. Another crucial resource is Crisis Lines. These are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you or a loved one is in crisis, don't hesitate to reach out. Trained professionals are on the other end of the line, ready to provide immediate help and support. There are also several online resources like websites and forums where veterans can find information, share their experiences and connect with others who are dealing with similar challenges. And let's not forget about the power of books. There are many insightful writings on PTSD, from self-help books to memoirs by other veterans. These can offer comfort, understanding and practical advice. Remember, it's okay to seek help and lean on these resources. PTSD is a serious condition, but with the right support, you can navigate this challenging journey, help is available, and you are not alone in this journey. In summary, understanding and addressing PTSD is a critical aspect of supporting our veterans. We've covered a lot of ground today, highlighting the importance of recognizing the signs of PTSD, such as flashbacks, mood changes, and hyperarousal. We also underscored that PTSD doesn't manifest the same way in everyone, and it's crucial to remember that there is no right or wrong way to respond to trauma. We delved into the management and treatment of PTSD, discussing the significance of seeking professional help, including therapy and medication. We also touched on self-help techniques like mindfulness, regular exercise and maintaining healthy routines. Remember, it's not just about managing symptoms, it's about reclaiming your life and finding joy and fulfillment again. Finally, we explored the resources and support available for veterans. From VA services to support groups and crisis lines, help is out there. If you or a loved one are struggling, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you are in a position to support a veteran, don't underestimate the impact your understanding and compassion can make. Remember, experiencing PTSD is not a sign of weakness. It's a testament to the fact that you face situations most people can't even imagine, it's a call for understanding, care, and above all, respect. Join us next time as we discuss coping strategies for family members of veterans with PTSD. Thanks for watching. Until next time.